Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and this is our Jenkins series. So in the last video, we automated builds using GitHub integration. And now we'll take it a step further by using a Jenkins file to define a pipeline as code. This approach for allows a better version control, easy collaboration and more flexibility. So let's get started. Right, so first I'll discuss about what is a Jenkins file. So a Jenkins file is a text file where you define a CSED pipeline in a structured format. Instead of manually configuring pipelines by Jenkins UI, we can write our pipeline as code and store it in a Git repository. All right, so I'll just show you how you can do that in a few seconds. So Jenkins supports two types of pipelines, declarative and scripted. We'll just focus on declarative pipelines for now as it's more beginner friendly and widely used. All right, so let's create a Jenkins file for a simple CICD workflow. So first of all, you need to head up your GitHub repository. I have a sample Flask repository right here, and I will create a file here which will be named as Jenkins file. So I'll just name it as Jenkins file. And now I can write the content for this. So for the content, I can follow a standard Groovy format. Groovy is a type of format for a language or for a typing language. So I'll just follow this format, which is first of all, we have to create the pipeline block, which is the main block of commands for a Jenkins file. All right. So everything comes under this pipeline, uh, under this pipeline block. All right. So first of all, we have an agent parameter and mostly we set it as any because we would allow any agent to be able to read our pipeline, to be able to read our Jenkins file and build the file content all right so we move forward to the stages block now so for the stages block the stages block as the name says contains all the stages the build is going to have so first of all uh, we can define the stages block with the name stages and then we can move forward and declare each stage step by step all right so supposedly if we have a stage named something like checkout code so i'll just name it something like stage and I can name the stage myself. So I'll just name it something like check out code. And then I'll make the block for this as well. So in the checkout code, supposedly uh, checkout code means that we're gonna check the branch for any changes. So for this, we can add the steps. So first of all, we have steps, and then we have, uh, we can create the steps block right here. And then for the first step, we can have get and then we can hit the request to this repository so let's copy from here and paste it right here inside a string all right so this can just be written like this and this was the first step which was checking out code in this branch right here all right, so after supposedly if this process is done, we can move on to the next stage. So we get out of the stage of checkout code and then move on to the next stage block. In this stage block, we can define it something like build. Supposedly, if you're building a Docker image for the project, then you can uh, write down the code here for building the uh, Docker image for that particular repository. In the future videos, we'll see how we can actually create Docker images uh, we can actually automate building of Docker images of the repository through Jenkins as well. All right, so for now, we can just create a stage build. And for this, I can declare the steps as well. For the steps, I'll just keep it something simple right now, which is running a command shell by using the command sh. And then I can just run the simple command echo, maybe something building the application. All right, so I can run this command in the shell, which is just an echo command. All right, so I can move forward to the next stage now, which is supposedly after building, we get to test the application. So I'll just name this, name this stage as test, and then I'll write in the steps for this as well. For the steps, we can have shell command running here as well, which is again, for now, just an echo command, which just says running tests. And then we can move forward to the next stage, which can be something like deploy. 
And for this, we can declare the steps, which uh, for now is again just a shell command, which is echoing something like deploying. All right, so for now, we'll just keep a Jenkins file like this, which has four stages, which is first of all, checking out the code in this repository, then building the code, testing the code, and deploying the code. So this Jenkins file consists of multiple stages uh, as stated, and each stage represents a step in the pipeline. The agent any directive tells Jenkins to run this pipeline on any available agent. All right, so now I'll just save this file. I'll just commit the changes. And we have saved this file in our repository. Perfect. Now we'll go to the Jenkins dashboard and click on new item right here. Click the pipeline here. First of all, you need to enter a name. I'll just name it, name something like test and select the pipeline item here. And I'll just create this item. All right, so now I'll configure this. So first of all, for this, we can simply configure this using a pipeline script from SCM. From SCM, we can select get and we can enter the repository URL. If your repository is not public, right, uh, like, my, uh, like my repository, then you need to add credentials as well. For adding the credentials, you can click on add and then a Jenkins credential. And for the username with password, you can actually write in username here and the password right here for your GitHub account. Or you can also use the GitHub app, which will have the app ID right here and the key which you create for an app inside GitHub for yourself. All right, so for now, the repository is public, so we do not have to care about that. And we can move forward and we can select the branch for the repository, which is main branch right here. And I'll just keep everything else as it is. So the parameter script path means the path of your script of Jenkins file which is Jenkins file itself on the root directory. Perfect. So I'll just create this. Uh, I'll just configure this pipeline now and we have successfully created the pipeline here. Perfect. So for now, if you want to build uh, the Jenkins file content, you can click simply on build now and the build will be scheduled. You can see your build running right here. If you click on this, you can see what all is happening here. So I would like to see the console output and uh, for the console output, you can see all the steps are being executed in order. So after the pipeline, you can add post, which is the post basically after what happens after building pipeline. If we have the success, then we can run these commands. Maybe something like I can run here. Um, that and something like echo. Build successful and on failure, I can run the opposite, which is bad. <clears throat> Echo build fit. All right, so I can save this now, commit changes, and now I can build Jenkins file again here by going to the pipeline and build now. All right, so as you can see, my build has started. All right, guys, so as you can see, we have printed here successfully, which is build successful, which was actually what had to be printed after the post success of this pipeline. And one more thing is that the piece of code of post has to come inside the pipeline block itself. All right, and the code will work perfectly fine. Perfect, so that's how you can basically run a Jenkins file for automation of processes inside your repository and that's it for the video thanks for watching